This video tutorial I will explain Apache Kafka introduction. In big data, enormous volume of data is used. Regarding data, we have two main challenges. The first challenge is how to collect large volume of data. And the second challenge is how to analyze the collected data. To overcome these challenges, we need a messaging system. And Kafka is designed for distributed high throughput systems. Kafka tends to work very well as a replacement for more traditional message broker. And in comparison to other messaging system, Kafka has better throughput, built-in partitioning and it supports replication and it has inherent fault tolerance which makes it is a good fit for large scale message processing applications. Now we will see what is messaging system. Here you can see messaging system and here you can see application 1, here you can see application 2. Messaging system is responsible for transferring data from one application to another application so that applications can focus on data but not worry about how to share it. Distributed messaging is based on the concept of reliable messaging queue and messages are queued asynchronously between client applications and messaging system and there are two types of messaging patterns are available one is point to point messaging system another one is publish subscribe messaging system and most of the messaging pattern follow publish subscribe message pattern. Now we will see point to point messaging system. Here you can see the queue and here you can see the sender. Sender is also called a publisher and here you can see the receiver. Receiver is also called a consumer. The publisher publish message to the queue and receiver or consumer consumes a message from the queue and once message is consumed the receiver or consumer acknowledges back to the queue. In a point to point messaging system messages are persisted in a queue. One or more consumers can consume messages from the queue but a particular message can be consumed by a maximum of one consumer only. And once a consumer read a message from the queue the message disappears from the queue. And uh, the typical example of uh, this messaging system is an example of uh, order processing system where each order is processed by only one order processor but uh, multiple order processors can work as well as at the same time. Now we will see publish uh, subscribe messaging system. Here you can see the topic, here you can see the publisher, here you can see subscriber 1 and subscriber 2 both the subscribers subscribe to the topic and when publisher publish message to the topic the same message will be delivered to subscriber 1 and subscriber 2. In the publish subscribe system messages are persisted in a topic and unlike point to point system consumers can subscribe to one or more topic and consume all the messages in the topic. And in the publish subscribe system, message producers are called publisher and message consumers are called subscribers. A real time example is Dish TV, which publishes different channels like sports, movies, music, etc. And anyone can subscribe to their own set of channels and get those channels whenever their subscribe channels are available. Now we will see what is Kafka. Apache Kafka is a distributed publish subscribe messaging system and it is a robust queue and Kafka can handle a high volume of data and it's enable you to pass messages from one endpoint to another endpoint and Kafka is suitable for offline message consumption and online message consumption. Kafka messages are persisted on the disk and messages are replicated within the cluster to avoid data loss and Kafka is built on top of Zookeeper synchronization service and Kafka integrates very well with Apache Strong and Apache Spark for real-time streaming data analysis. 
here we will see the advantages of uh, Kafka reliability. Kafka is uh, distributed, partitioned, replicated and uh, fault tolerance and uh, scalability. Kafka messaging system scales easily without uh, any downtime. Durability. Kafka uses distributed commit lock which means messages persist on the disk as fast as possible. So it is durable. Next one is uh, performance. Kafka has a high throughput for uh, both publishing and uh, subscribing the messages. And uh, Kafka maintains stable performance even many terabytes of uh, messages are stored. And uh, Kafka is uh, very fast and uh, it guarantees zero downtime and uh, zero data loss. And uh, Kafka is very fast and uh, it performs uh, 2 million writes per second. And uh, Kafka persists all data to the disk, which essentially means that all the writes go to the page cache of the OS. And uh, this makes it is very efficient to transfer data from page cache to a network socket. Here we will see when to use uh, Kafka metrics. Kafka is often used for operational monitoring data and it involves aggregating statistics from distributed applications to produce a centralized feed of operational data and uh, log aggregation solution. Kafka can be used across an organization to collect logs from multiple services and make them available in a standard format so that uh, multiple consumers can use. Stream processing. Popular frameworks like uh, Storm and Spot streaming read data from topic, process it and write process data to a new topic where it becomes available for users and applications. And uh, Kafka has uh, strong durability so it is very useful in the context of uh, stream processing. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video from the description section of the video. And uh, here you can see the video. And uh, to see the description, click on this uh, more. And uh, here you can see the description. And uh, here you can see the links. And uh, click on these links to get the Java source code.